In this video, I want to tell you about the five myths of selling on Amazon. So before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below what you think those myths are, and don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up. My name is Shimmy Morris and I'm shooting this video for AMZ Scout, and let's get right into it. So I've got the notes here on my computer, and let's just go straight into it. So myth number one is there are too many sellers on Amazon to actually make a profit. Well, let's just, Let's just debunk that myth because, well, actually Amazon is growing drastically and if you've, if you've seen the stats, you'll see that um, over the next few years, um, the, well, the millennials are, um, are coming up to their, well, I would say their highest spending time, right? So the time when they, where they reach a certain age where they have money and they're spending it and they're spending it on Amazon. So. Um, based on the stats and the previous stats, um, Amazon are drastically growing year after year and they have been for the last two or three years. So yes, there are more sellers, but there's also a lot more room for new sellers and for new products. And just there are tons of little products that are getting big out of nowhere. So I don't really think that there are too many sellers on Amazon for you to start. Myth number two is that it doesn't matter what you sell. Well this is obviously just rubbish because of course it matters what you sell you have to do all the research you can use the chrome extension tool you can use the web um, app you can use all the different amz scout apps to do this research but you have to do the research you have to research the niche you have to research the different products make sure that they're getting sales make sure that it's not on a competition you have to find the right product so it 100 percent does make a difference what you sell if you just sold any random item then there's no saying whether or not you'll be successful Whereas what we like to do is we like to conduct research and the product has to fit around 13 criteria, which we talk about in our course, but the product has to fit about 13 criteria. And if it's not too crazy, then we'll continue to try and sell it on Amazon. So myth number three is that you have to have low prices if you want to get any sales. And I think that's absolute rubbish because I've, I've been on both ends of the spectrum. I've done, um, I've done a product with low price and a product with a high price and both have equally got lots of sales. And the main factors weren't the price, but actually the quality of the product and the quality of the, the, um, the listing. So if you have a product that's maybe $10 more than anyone else on Amazon or in your niche, um, there's no reason why you can't sell it a lot. If you've got very high quality images, a gripping title, some really good bullets and a good description, then of course you will 100% sell it and if you have good reviews that is what will sell your product now That's not to say that having a lower price than everyone else will sell your product better Obviously it will if you have a low price people will be drawn to your product However, if you have a low price and your product is rubbish quality and you have bad reviews Then just because you have a low price don't expect to get sales. There's so much more About getting sales and just what the price is and that's another thing about creating a brand and um if you create a brand and you want to do some brand awareness and you want to create your brand and make it a proper expensive make like Apple or any of these companies like Gucci or whatever, the price is all in the is all in the name really. So if your product is it costs more than everyone else, they could click onto your product just to see who you are, what you are, maybe you have a the best quality product. So I don't think um, that if you want to get sales you have to have a low price that's just that's another myth that's just not true myth number four is all you need to do is just list your product and that will get the ball rolling that will get you that will get you sales and that will get you started right that will get your foot in the door well that's not actually true because if you just list your product and leave it your product will probably be three or four hundred thousand on the list on page like 150 or something crazy like that no one will ever see your product there's so much more to it when you actually list a product on Amazon. You want to be doing some different types of PPC, so pay-per-click advertising, like maybe on Amazon or Facebook or Google. You want to be doing different ranking techniques, maybe doing some giveaways or getting some reviews to get yourself started. Um, you also want to be doing some keyword optimization, but you 100% don't just want to list your product and leave it because you'll probably be demotivated after seeing that you're not getting very many sales and you don't know what's going on. You're like, this whole thing doesn't work. Amazon doesn't work. You don't get any money from Amazon. Well, no, that's because you listed your product and you left it. So that myth is definitely false. You can't just list a product on Amazon and expect to get sales. You have to actually do some work to get yourself ranked high up um, 
in Amazon's algorithm for whatever keyword that you want to get ranked for. And myth number five is you need to list tons of different products. Well, I know for a fact that this one is absolute rubbish because we personally started with one product and we didn't actually list our second product until our first one was making $10,000 a month. And the whole idea of listing as many products as you want to get more sales, well, in essence, it's kind of true because the more products you list, obviously the more sales, you, like the more potential you have for sales because you have different products. However, I can guarantee you if you compare someone who has who's listing, let's say, 100 products in a month and someone who's listing one product in a month, that person who's listing one product in a month will focus all their attention on that product. They'll get that product to the number one or number two or number three spot compared to the guy who's listed 100 products. who They're all like on page 40 and no one is seeing any of them. I guarantee you the person who has one product will probably get more sales. So, and also just the idea of having to list tons of product is so overwhelming. It can probably deter you from even wanting to start selling on Amazon. So that myth is definitely, definitely not true. You don't have to list tons of products. However, I mean, it would be helpful. And once you listed your first product and your second product and your third product and, and you get the ball rolling and you know what you're doing, then by all means list as many products as you can. Make it a full-time thing if you want. And of course you will end up making more money. Just just note that if you list products, doesn't matter how many you list, you have to focus on all of them individually and get them all ranked high, as high as possible on Amazon. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if there are any other myths or any other concerns um, that are troubling you about Amazon. If I can help, maybe then I will reply to your comment. And um, yeah, this I made this video for AMG Scout. My name is Shimmy Morris. You can check out my YouTube channel in the, in the link in the description. Um, I make Amazon videos every so often, every week. Um, so you can check that out. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in another video on the AMG Scout YouTube channel.